Hi, I have been meaning to do a channel update for a while. Um, I don't really do this very often, but there's a few things I want to talk about. Um, first, I want to mention a couple of channels that has really um, uh, grabbed my attention recently. First one I'll talk about is uh, he goes by Model Kit Maker. Um, that is a, a, an extremely functional name for a YouTube channel. Um, mine is probably one of the least descriptive, I think. Uh, anyhow, the guy's done resin figures, he's done like, uh, the, I think he's, he's working on the Bandai Millennium Falcon. He does a lot of really cool stuff, and I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Also, I want to talk about Tokyo Model Detective. I got to know this guy, uh, we were chatting on, uh, Google Plus, you know, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, Google Hangouts, and he came across my channel, and he's like, hey, wow, there's another foreigner who is a modeler here in Japan, so um, we, we did like a video chat, and we were talking for quite a long time, super neat guy, Tokyo Model Detective, check out his channel, he actually runs uh, uh, a retail site, so you can purchase stuff like, uh, Star Wars, Bandai Star Wars, for example, he's he's uh, small enough he can fly under the radar, and um, he can give you good prices. I, I've I've seen like, for example, the the recent um, uh, Star Destroyer, that small little thing, I've seen it going for like over twenty dollars U.S. on like eBay or something. That is just it's that's crazy. Um, so, yeah, don't pay that much. Check him out, Tokyo Model Detective. Um, so, um, what else? I have started a new job. Um, some people know about this. So, um, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, the job I had before, um, there was no chance of, of uh, pay raises or bonuses or anything like that. Teaching English in Japan is not a financially rewarding experience, but um, it certainly is, to me at least, it is a, it's a really um, emotionally rewarding experience. I, I really enjoy uh, teaching. Actually, um, I need to keep this video short because I need to work on a lesson plan for uh, class tomorrow night. Um, but anyhow, uh, people who know about my new job don't don't mention because I, I I keep uh, everything separately my my work life and private life. So don't say hey congratulations working at so and so because just please don't do that. Um, so she's Oka Hobby Show. Uh, that finished yesterday, and I got home yesterday evening, and I slept hard because the past couple of nights before that, I was waking up like around four o'clock in the morning or even earlier than that because I was just kind of, you know, excited and nerding out, I suppose. Um, it was a really cool experience. Um, let me show you what I got. So first of all. I got this at GSI Creos. This is um, the their paint, the yellow orange paint, and look on the back. Pretty neat, huh? So um, they had this color. They had red. I'm sorry. No, they had this color. They had blue and they had black, like flat black. It was, it was pretty neat. I also picked up this, and. This is, uh, I've got a bunch of crap here, so let me show you what I got here. First, I'll start with the smallest one. This is, I got this at Hasegawa. This is a P40N Warhawk, 172 scale. It's only like 600 yen. Actually, they, they gave me a very small discount. It was kind of nice, actually, uh, because, um, Because they like me, I guess. I don't know. Um, this is an Ars Nova kit. I got another one of these things. This is a, a, a 
the Nagara. This is a 1700 light cruiser. This is um, the Arpeggio of Blue Steel. Got another one of these things. This one is actually made by Tamiya. You can see on the box there. This is really cool. Oh, this is cool. Alright. Cyber Formula. This is the Asurada AKF-0 Spiral Boost Mode. Now, you might be like, well, what, what is Cyber Formula? Well, it's, um, it's a 90s anime, and um, you may be interested if you are like a fan of, of Macross and stuff like that. The mechanical designer for Cyber Formula is Shoji Kawamori. And uh, I'm going to do uh, an unboxing of this, I think. This looks really cool. And lastly, I picked up this. This is a chemical fire pumper truck. Um, this is... Um, oh yeah, so um, this, 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 is, this is by Oshima, and this is also by Oshima. Um, Oshima has the, the license for the the uh, arpeggio of blue steel, but the kit's made by Tamiya. It's kind of complicated. I'll, I think I've already explained that before in another video. Anyhow, this is really cool. It has like a, like a drone that goes into like uh, uh, rooms that are on fire that, that people can't go into because it's too hot. It's pretty neat. This is uh, Osaka Municipal Fire Department. And the license plate says uh, Naniwa, so that's uh, from Osaka. It's really neat. Um, I'll, I'll do an unboxing video of that if people are interested. I, I try to show stuff that people would not know about otherwise. Um, and I, I picked, uh, I didn't pick this up actually, this was, this was given to me. Um, Keychains were available for people who made purchases of 2,000 yen or more. So, that's neat. What else? Um, oh yeah, well this is this is something I'm currently working on. I didn't get this at this show. This was actually given to me. But I'm working on another one of these uh, Macross, uh, uh, Macross Delta Mecha Collection kits. Um, I did not get that at the, at, the, uh, at the event, so I'm kind of going ahead of myself. So, it's pretty cool. People recognize me. Um, this is the second year in a row. I um, got to talk with a guy named Dexter from Australia. He is uh, he's a subscriber and he's watching. He he's, has watched my videos for a while, and I saw him last year and uh, he said hello, and I saw him again this year. So that was pretty neat. Um, actually, there was a Japanese man who recognized me. He's like, hey, I watch your videos. And I, I asked him, because he said that he's, he's watched them for years. And he says that he really enjoys my videos. I said, well, do you speak English? And he says, no, but he kind of picks up a word here and there. And he's, he's enjoyed the, the builds of my uh, uh, Yamato stuff. And um, just like the Star Wars and stuff, so apparently he's into, he's into science fiction. So it's really cool, and even though he doesn't speak the language, uh, he still enjoys watching my videos. Um, I, I do sometimes get people from Japan requesting I do videos in Japanese, but I'm kind of, I don't know, uh, I, I guess I'm kind of embarrassed because I, I make mistakes, I guess, and that's not really the tar target audience. I think it's great that um, I think my channel statistics say that I have, but the first one, the number one views I think are from the United States. And I think number two are from Japan. So, and I'm sure not all of those people are are um, English speakers. So that that's pretty neat. Um, uh, okay, so I've really gotten to talk to a whole lot of people at the event. Um, speaking of Cyber Formula, you know that was uh, they had a display um, for Cyber Formula stuff at the uh, uh, the Alshma booth, and I was talking to this this one uh, 
nice woman, she had a Cyber Formula jacket on, so I was talking to her about that, and uh, she's she's a part of like this um, like this kart racing team where they they race these these carts that are like uh, shaped like the 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 cars in the anime, and uh, so she does cosplay for for different events and such, and uh, she was showing her me she was showing me her her her. Uh, her cosplay pictures, and uh, it was it was really interesting talking to her. It was really neat seeing somebody who was really excited about a certain show like that. And uh, I I asked her, well, hey, do you go to uh, the, the 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 Wonder Festivals? And she said, yeah. So she showed me a picture of the last one she went to, and she was cosplaying as like one of the the, the racing uh, uh, girls in the in like a bathing suit. And I'm like. So <laughs> February in Tokyo, aren't weren't you cold wearing a bathing suit? She's like, yeah, but you know, I I can uh, I I can tough it out. I'm like, wow, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, you're you're beautiful. That that's that that's great. So um, talking to there's a group of uh, science fiction builders called Doro Off. Uh, I've mentioned Doro Bohige in the past. Um, actually, I didn't see him, but I did see this other guy. Um, I think what's his name? Oh shoot, I don't have my his card with me right now. Um, I'll I'll put a link to his his stuff. He did this really fantastic diorama of uh, the Echo Base hangar from Empire Strikes Back, and he used 148 snow speeders. He used 148 X wings, both from from Bandai, and he scratch built his own. 148 scale uh, Millennium Falcon. That is pretty cool. That is really neat stuff. Um, so uh, let me just show it to you right now. So go. <laughs> Okay, so that is the only video footage I took of the event. Um, I know people have been asking me, hey, did you go to the event? And I think a lot of people are expecting me to do videos of this event. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I've done it for four years now. Um, to me, this event has become more than a, just a spectator thing. And I am doing a lot of standing around talking to people a lot. And I'm not doing videos anymore. Um, I think last year that's going to be the, the last of the, the video coverage of the event. I did take several pictures and I've been uploading that onto my Tumblr account so you can watch at that time. Uh, so you can see the pictures I took um, on my Tumblr account. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sleepy. I, uh, I went straight to work, you know, today's Monday and uh, yeah, my weekend was gone. I couldn't really relax at all so I'm just totally wiped out. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm not, uh, I don't want to go into detail. I'm not going to. People who know details, I just don't, please don't say anything. Um, I started doing modeling videos on this channel to help me become a better modeler. I didn't even think there was going to be that many people watching my videos. I had no idea. Um, the guy from Japan who who's he's watched my videos, um, he got a kick out of the, the Tommy Honda Fit. And that was like that's where that's how I got started here on on uh, on YouTube doing modeling videos was the uh, Tommy Honda Fit, and he said that it was really great that I, I did a, a Kobe license plate for that car because that's where he's from. But um, what was I saying? Uh, but yeah, so um, 
it's become a lot more of a social event for me. Um, I I want this to remain a humble channel of me exploring the hobby and becoming better. I'm I'm not. I don't want to be accused of pretentious posturing by blabbering on and on about the people I am talking to. Um, like, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to go into details about that. So, okay, wait, I'm coming. Sorry, it's bath time. I'll tell you what, I'm going to just pause this here and get back. Okay, so I, I um, put my kid to bed, so it's about an hour or so later. Anyhow, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, one thing I was looking at buying is a, was a Fine Molds t-shirt, but uh, I didn't get around to that. Um, also, um, I had the idea of getting a, uh, that uh, Prototype Zero airplane from uh, Kazi Tachinu, the Wind Rises, from Fine Molds, but um, I didn't get around to that either, so uh, maybe next time, because they did have it for a decent price. Anyhow, so um, something else I was going to mention was, was when I was talking with that uh, that, that lady who was a, who was a Cyber Formula fan, uh, we were talking about how um, new anime kind of sucks, right? And uh, she was saying, like, uh, like uh, this new stuff doesn't have the soul that the hand-painted cells did, you know, with all this computer animation and such, and uh, with the plots and everything, it's just not the same. And uh, it, it was great because, you know, I hear the same conversations in English, right? So um, we can't blame uh, Japan in general for the lack of uh, decent uh, Japanese animation these days for like the past, uh, since the turn of the century or so, um, because a lot of Japanese people feel the same way. Uh, it's this whole crappy uh, otaku type crap that is uh, holding that art form hostage, kind of, in a way, because there's so much of it is is uh, influenced by that and uh, not so much real creativity. So, <clears throat> speaking of creativity, um, so I, I, I believe I, um, I, I mentioned, so... Uh, you're not going to be seeing many videos, I guess. Um, that's just, sorry. You know, I, I know that that's disappointing for people, but uh, I guess, I guess uh, I've become more conspicuous and um, I have lots of other reasons. So if I say that I'm not doing any more videos of, of the hobby show, it's not like for anything like, uh, there's, there's no negative reasons for that. It's not like, I, you know, I was asked not to, or it's not that uh, because of um, trolls or whatever on, on comments or whatever. Uh, it's not like that at all. Now, of course, there's always going to be people who are um, always here. Oh, well, that was right next to you. Why didn't you put, you? why didn't you point your camera at that instead of this other thing instead? It's like, and, and like I was, I was telling, uh, um, like the guy from uh, Australia, it's like <laughs> if you don't like it, you get on an airplane and you 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 do the video yourself. You know, if if you don't like the way I do it, um, so actually uh, he was taking video apparently. So Dexter, if if you're watching this, I encourage you to upload videos of the event. So I'm sure lots of people enjoy watching that. So, creativity. Uh, I was talking to um, this one guy who was a representative of, uh, of a company. Um, I I'm not going to say what, but uh, he was an American guy, and he was just blown away at the level of creativity that you see at the Shizu Hobby Show. Now, I've been to an IPMS before, and you don't see the same level of creativity there that you do at the at the Shizuoka show. Uh, 
pardon me. Uh, I was talking to one guy who works at a hobby shop in America, um, actually in uh, Southern California area, and he said that uh, for one, I can't remember if it was a, if it was a, 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 a contest or if it, it was just like just a meeting or an IPMS or whatever, but because it was Southern California, the guy thought it would be funny to build a, a tank with low rider tires on it. And he did a, apparently he did a good job. I haven't seen this, but this is just what I was told. The guy did a really fantastic job, but he was asked to leave. They, somebody, they had asked him to take his model and go home because he wasn't welcome there. And uh, that is just terrible. Uh, I've heard from other people as well with their experiences at the IPMSs and such. Um, to me, it seems like it's, it's kind of like a grumpy old man's group. And uh, I had gone to um, an IPMS meeting, and they had me stand up and talk about the models I enjoyed making. And so I mentioned I like model cars, and then I, I kind of reluctantly mentioned that I liked science fiction models. And I heard one guy was like, yeah. Right, and then later I found out, like, that guy was kind of pushing for more of, uh, like, science fiction and such to be uh, more broadly accepted. But it seems like, uh, I, I don't want to paint a broad picture and say, you know, call them, like, the, the grumpy old IPMS grump guys or whatever, but um, it's just this, this tendency for this older crowd to depend, or to, to really focus on on uh, too much realism constantly. And I love realism, but when you see what goes on at, at these uh, these American events, um, now in North American, you know, not, not just United States, but you know, whatever, um, I, I, I talked with a guy from Germany, and he says that People they like the rivet counter types. So you must, uh, you must do things a certain way. Like you have to paint the seat in the cockpit a certain color. Otherwise, they're gonna find fault with you or whatever. Um, and then you look at the She's a Local Hobby Show, where you see like a, uh, they have like a, like a, a Starship Enterprise with like uh, anime characters decals on it or like um, they had like an aliens power loader with a Hatsune Miku figure in it battling like a giant crab it was, it, it was like a, a it, the crab was made out of an actual crab shell really bizarre and really fun too uh, you see of course there's a lot of the, the realism and, and I'm all for that when I do these kind of subjects, I kind of go for realism too. But at the same time, if I don't do things perfectly, I don't care. Uh, whereas, you know, at, at this event this this past week, that uh, you know, why would you paint like a a a, a, a Mustang or or a, or a Corsair? Why why would you? paint it like a, a bright purple with flowers on it. It's like, well, up yours. <laughs> That's why. You know, it's my model. I'll paint it the way I want it to. And if I want to be goofy, then, you know, you don't have to like it, but you don't have to, uh, you know, uh, look down on me because of that. So, I'm interested in knowing, you know, there's a lot of people from all over the world who watch these videos let me know what it's like where you live. And I, I'm really interested to know, uh, do they really foster a lot of uh, creativity or do they discourage that kind of stuff? Please let me know. Leave comments and such. Um, I, I really hope that if the, the model 
uh, the plastic model uh, hobby is going to survive, especially in Western countries, that more creativity will be allowed because obviously it's it's it, it really thrives here in Japan, and that's what's really nice about about uh, uh, you know living here is uh, because of all the neat modeling stuff stuff that people, you know, they're lucky even if they have a local hobby shop where they live because, you know, maybe they've gone out of business. So, uh, yeah, leave, leave, leave comments. Please let me know. I'm interested in knowing. Um, I might possibly go to the United States. I might possibly go to the, uh, it's called the Wonder Fest. It's different from the Japanese Wonder Festival. It's in Louisville, Kentucky. I might possibly go there and see what that's like. It's it's a considerably smaller event, but it is kind of similar to uh, the Japanese One Fest because there's a lot of uh, aftermarket parts and resin kits and stuff like that that is it's being sold there. So uh, that that's exciting. Okay, so um, let me tell you what is going on um, in terms of builds. I just showed you, I'm, I'm, I'm working on this. Um, I've begun working on, I resumed working on my uh, DeLorean from Back to the Future. That is, uh, I haven't touched it in a couple weeks, but I have restarted it. Um, I've started on a couple of car kits. I want to do some, uh, some unboxings of different car kits. People have thanked me for showing some kits that are unusual that they might not have known of before. So I want to do some more of that and, you know, let me know what you think. Anyhow, I'm, I'm tired. It's uh, it's getting late Monday night. I need to uh, do this lesson plan for this uh, class I'm teaching on Tuesday nights. So um, I think that's all. I have to script myself with these videos because I'm... I, I ramble too much. This is probably going on for way too long. So, thanks for watching. And, uh, uh, stay tuned for more neat stuff later on. So, goodbye.